Hello everybody, welcome back to the on Light channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can install DXVK, which is basically a shader caching for GTA 4, which optimizes the game to an extent uh, and makes it run better. As you know, GTA IV on PC is quite a bad port, terribly optimized, and doesn't run well, especially at lower end systems. So I'm going to take you through the steps today to uh, put this into your directory. It's really easy, it takes about two minutes tops. And I'm going to also show you another thing you can do to improve the performance of your game. However, it's just a preference. So what you want to do, you just want to go to the link in the description. Uh, it's going to be a GitHub link and you just want to do as follows. Once you open it, it'll take you to this page here. It says version 1.7 and it's just a Vulkan extension um, type thing. And it's just down here at assets dxvk1.7.tar.gz. What you want to do is you just want to click on that. You should get a pop up here to save file. This is if you're on Firefox, if you're on Chrome, your Lord, that's what you download. Just want to go here and you just want to open it with your application of choice. For example, 7 Web for Rimar or any other alternative. Then what you want to do is you just want to open the files and go to x32. And as you can see here, there is a few files here. We're going to leave this here for now. And in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to open File Explorer. You're going to go down, find your GTA IV directory. Mine is the Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, GTA IV. And you won't have these free games here. You will only have the one GTA IV. These are just my modded uh, directories I have for the several things. So this is just my base one. This is my online one, which I'll show a tutorial in the future to do that. This is my Iron Man modded one, uh, which is just a little mod from a little while ago. But what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and open your GIV directory. And it should look like this base, no mods at all, to my knowledge, I think, can't remember. But uh, yeah, there should be no mods in here at all. Should just look exactly like this, because this is the complete edition. What you want to do then is you just want to go back to your WinRAR and you just want to copy these two files. D3, D9, and DXGI. I can't select these two at once. I've got a broken collarbone right now. But basically, you just want to drag each one in. That's so. Then, once you've dragged each one in, that is basically everything. Apart from the fact that when you launch into a game, sometimes you may find that your available video memory has been set to maybe a gig or half a gig of VRAM, which in normal terms isn't really an issue for GEIV if you just played at 1080p medium settings. However, if you want to use full capability of your graphics card's video memory, you're going to add a simple command line. What you want to do is in the link in the description, there will be a few commands you just want to do right click new text document and call it command line.txt however i already have a command line so you just want to go ahead and put it into your directory it should look like this just rename it open it and then paste in these so what this does is it uses 100 percent of your video memory and it doesn't restrict it if your memory still uh, appears as lower uh, say with this one this is just no restrictions as well this pre uh, says the game to not pre cache. Uh, can't remember what this does specifically. However, it does improve the performance to my knowledge. And then this is the one that you're meant to be looking for here as well. Available video memory. You want to change this to your graphics card's available video memory or just however much you want the game to use. Make sure it is under the video memory that your graphics card supports. So, for example, you've got six gigs of VRAM. You might want to put it to six or maybe three if you don't want to use it all. Uh, but I recommend just setting it to however much your graphics card has because, you know, you get the best performance. Then you just want to file, save, and then close this out. You can also put it in Steam as a launch argument if you don't want to do a command line.txt, but I feel like command line.txts are quite easier. Then what you want to do is you want to launch Steam, go to your library over here, go to GEIV, the complete edition, and then you could just launch the game. This is what I meant by um, I did the launch argument. So you just want to go properties and then I can see launch options there. But I already have it set. I'm going to delete that because I already have command line. But yeah, you can just add it in there if you really want to. 
But yeah, you just want to go ahead and click play, load it to the game, and you should have the Vulcan uh, add-on for this game. So yeah, like, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please do like, subscribe, comment down below when you want to see in the future. I will be uploading more videos shortly. However, I'm currently uh, recovering from a broken collarbone, so I can't really use my ham right now. But yeah, I can do basic tutorials, and I have a week off, so I'm going to be try to get as much videos as possible. So yeah, if you did enjoy, like, subscribe, as I already said. Uh, that has been me for my day, uh, for my monthly, maybe yearly upload. But yeah, I'll see you next one. Goodbye for now.